Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Thanks for dropping by. Um, today I want to review a incredibly special deck um, and it's by Kat Shaw. Um, Kat is the lady behind these gorgeous um, Goddess Oracle decks um, that I've had for a while now. I've actually reviewed them on here a few weeks ago, I think, or maybe last month, but I use them all my time in my practice. Um, so I'll talk about these more later when I give the relevant links underneath. So Kat kindly sent me this for a review as well because she knows how much I love her work. And this is The Path of Kali Oracle by Kat. And it says on the back, it comes in this organza bag, by the way. And on the back of the card, it says, Welcome to The Path of Kali Oracle. A chance for you to integrate the teachings of Kali into your life by feeling knowing and walking alongside her 18 archetypes as channeled by Kat Shaw. With Carly, nothing is unachievable. But to know Carly is to understand and recognise every facet of her personality, and in establishing a direct individual and unique connection with her, she will manifest in the life you have always dreamed of. It's the path of returning home, the path of enlightenment, the path of empowerment, the path of death and rebirth, the path of Carly. Carly. Hear her, name, hear her call, now is the time to make a stand to be heard. We have never needed her more than now. Are you ready? So, as I said, it comes in this lovely blue organza bag. And then inside you get um, a book, a booklet, um, which is 50-something pages long, 61 pages long. You get the deck, um, which comes in a blue black uh velvet bag and then you get some crystals as well and the crystals are here for a reason right so you'll have to bear with me as well because i haven't actually had a chance to work with the deck as such and so i'm learning as i'm going as well so the deck um is wait a moment right so you got the introduction there from cat as well um and then you have the oracle content so you've got 18 archetype of carly cards 18 symbol cards that connect to an archetype 18 affirmation cards also all linked to a different archetype and 18 crystals all of which have been programmed to resonate to a particular frequency of each carly archetype an oracle guide booklet and a beautiful handmade crystal charm threaded with gold beads of abundance and the crystals of black obsidian and flower agate are to represent destruction and creation, which is here. So that's the little charm you get as well. And let me just pop this light on because it's uh, going overcast here. Right, okay. So, okay then, sit with the cards as soon as you open them, close your eyes, hold them in your hands, up to your heart, and ask Carly, what does she want you to do? How does she want you to work with this pack for your highest benefit? And trust that whatever you are doing is right for you. Carly has your back. She wants you to flourish and thrive, so she will always guide you to success. Then lay out all of the archetype, archetype cards and match them with their symbol, affirmation, and crystal. This will give you time to get to know each archetypal set and resonate with the different energetic vibrations they all hold. There are many ways you can work with the oracle. You can simply pick a card and look at the image and carry it on, carry on with your life. Or you can take accountability for doing your own deep healing work with her and become wholly involved in your rebirth, fiercely embracing her transformational energy. Um, right, and then Kat does give a little footnote here. When I talk about Carly archetypes throughout the book, I am merely referring to the different aspects of her, which in turn refer to the different aspects within us all. There are not separate Carlys, they are all, all part of the whole, her, us and we. Um, and on the top, an archetype is a character type or element that appears again and again in stories from cultures around the world and symbolising something universal in the human experience or consciousness. So basically you're working with the energy of um, Carly in all of the different facets and aspects. Um, so, as we know, Kali is the Hindu goddess of um, destruction, um, death, life and rebirth. Um, so, this would be a great deck to use with. Um, so, there's a few examples here. Uh, you've got Life, um, Answers, Oracle, um, Altar, Intuition, Walking the Path. Um, each archetype of Kali is specifically designated to a different direction within a yearly wheel. 
working around the wheel of Carly is a year-long dedicational journey which will become lifelong and is described in more detail in my book Walking the Path of Guy Carly. There is a separate book available. Um, you just work alongside this deck as well, um, which I ordered this morning. Crystals, use the crystals as runes, shake them in your hand and toss them see of the land and ask Carly what the formations mean and then creativity, use these cards anyway that resonates with you, be creative. How fab is this deck? And there's a message there which cuts as channels and you've got using the crystals. So all the crystals look come in these little two pouches. Um, let me see if I can open them because they're tied up. Cat, you've tied these up well. Um, <laughs> right, okay then. Uh, let me just take these out of the little bag. So you've got this set of crystals here and there's some with dots on. And obviously when you know um, what the crystals mean to each different aspect of Carly, you can remove the dots if you so wish. Um, and this is the second bag as well. Um, I love doing this like kind of like live unboxing or unbagging. Um, right, okay. So all the crystals are listed down here, which Kat has took a picture of um, for each single one. Um, you've got the archetype on the top. So for instance, we'll pick the carnelian, which is, hang on, let's just pick the rose quartz or something like that, which we know. What's that one? That's clear quartz. So that has got a white dot on it. So basically you've got, uh, da, da, da. Right, that's the archetype is Black Carly and that's Quartz properties. Quartz is the most powerful stone of the mineral kingdom, so it makes sense that it should sit with Black Carly, the all knowing, all seeing warrior. Clear Quartz is the stone of power and amplify any intention you have or any energy you are putting out into the universe. So this is a reminder to make your intentions good. Black Carly and this clear quartz will attune you to your higher self energize and activate your warrior energy so there you go anyway there's a crystal key there and all these ones are wrote down that cats put there um as you can see there's red jasper and all the rest like unikite and everything they're all kind of marked anyway so it's not difficult to kind of see now let's have a look at the cards so let's put the guidebook down and have a look at the cards um so there should be three sets of cards that make up the whole deck Right, okay, so we've got the 18 archetype cards. Is that right? The 18 symbols. And then we've got, let's move this over here, the 18 affirmation cards. So we've got three, Carly the Slayer there, they're all in order, look. So we've got, there's the archetype card there's a symbol card and there's the affirmation i am brave enough to be free i am destroying my ego so then we've got carly of the release there's the symbol for that one and then we've got i sit on the void sit in the void and see my true self i am healing so basically what you could do you could just work with these three cards as you wish and this is like the set from Carly the of the release. So you know that this is going to mean releasing something, releasing a pattern of behaviour, um, releasing kind of old wounds, old hurts, anything like that. So what we'll do, we'll look in the guidebook and see what Kat says, Carly the Slayer, Carly of the release. So you can get your crystal, which is um, lipidolite. And so you find your lipidolite down here, or if you've got some to hand at home, do that if you want to. And then Kat gives a meaning here. We can all feel weighed down in life and this card is your message that past experiences, society's demands and unrealistic expectations by yourselves and others have twisted, torn, moulded and shaped you into an essence that you can barely distinguish as you. Carly of the Release is here to tell you that enough is enough, assisting you through her message to release and to heal your soul woundings and to truly let loose everything that is holding you back. When you draw this card, Carly of the Release will be working with you to dissolve structures in your life which are familiar, habitual and safe, yet often not serving your eyes good. This is your time to go within and heal yourself, to treat yourself with kindness and compassion and surround yourself in your own embrace. You are the healing that you need and now is your time. And then we've got 
take some questions, take a close look at your life, who are you really, what beliefs are you, yours and what are other people's, do you make choices from your soul or do you choose what you think you should? And there's lots of information here as well that Kat's put in. Um, you've got heal yourself, treat yourself kindly. Um, message of here as well, a channel message. Um, I am here to facilitate your ultimate release. Sit with me in stillness. So this is absolutely amazing to kind of use for meditation work. Um, and kind of you could use these as like these symbols god within you know if you kind of work with goddess type energy it'd be amazing um to kind of like work with that and if you look on the card at the back you can see the you know you can see the illustration of that card there slightly in the background but the symbol on there takes prominence and so, you know, a symbol is what it means to you, you know, wherever you can see, wherever you can think about and meditate on. So this is incredible that the way Kat's incorporated the symbols, the archetypes and the affirmation cards in the whole of the deck. Um, so let me show you just flick through the, um, obviously I'll flick through the cards as we go. Right, so we had Carly the Slayer, which is there. And then we've got Carly of the Release, which is the next one. Which is the one I've just done. And then we've got Lost Carly as well. So you get three cards. And the affirmation at the end, it says, I am finding my way home back to myself. Um, which is really, really good if you kind of <clears throat> pick this card and you feel lost. And it gives you something to kind of focus on. Carly the Brave. And there's the symbol for that one. I am bravely reclaiming the fun in my life. Torchbearer. I am lighting up my desires. I am the light as well. So you can see like where this deck's going. So you've got an affirmation, a symbol card to meditate on, and you've got the other, you know, the, the basic main archetype card. And so you've got Carly of the First Flame. I am transforming my life and making my dreams come true. So there you go. Like say if you particularly um, want to manifest something or focus on a goal or something you want to achieve. You know you could choose this aspect of Carly to work with. Um, and you could kind of meditate and you know see what you can get from this Carly of the First Flame. And another tip as well. Um, light a candle, um, a little tea light in a holder or something and kind of visualise, you, you know, your intentions or something, you know, there as though you have them instead of like, you know, you're wanting them. So let's have a look how Kat reads these cards as well. And obviously you can use the corresponding crystals, as I've said as well. So, um, right, OK, then. Pull one card, read the oracle for that particular archetype and feel the energy. Display the card so you can see her all day. Look at the corresponding symbol, learn to draw it. Draw it on everything you can work throughout the day. Put the symbol on your desk at work and look at it or in the kitchen whilst you're cooking. Embed it into your brain, carry it with you for the day. Draw it as often as you can, trace your finger over the symbol. How absolutely lovely is this? Um, so it's a really kind of practical proactive deck as well for you to kind of interact and get creative with as Kat mentioned in a book so you know you can pull say how I would use these then so what energy do I need to kind of like you know embody today so I would shuffle the first archetype cards and so for instance we've got Carly of the release so I'd then find the corresponding symbol card and obviously you don't have to do this you know this is just kind of more practical you know things you can do with the deck you can just use this one as standalone so we can use that now so that is, this is the symbol of Carly of the release so I'd either trace my finger over it or as Kat said I'd draw it keep it with me during the day I periodically look at it and it just gives you something to really really focus on and to be great in spell work as well um, and as I said, incorporated it into like lots of different areas in your life. Um, so this is an incredible 
concept from Kat. I mean, I love Kat's work anyway, so I suppose I'm super biased. Um, but it's an incredible concept from Kat. Obviously, you can like put them all together. And then, as you can see, look, the backs are all different. So you've got three colours. Um, that is the archetype, that is the symbol, and that is the affirmation. So you're not going to get lost, you know. Um, you can just shuffle them all together and then, like, you know, if you wanted to find, you know, say, for instance, obviously it works the same way around if you wanted to do it this way. Obviously, we know that's the symbol card. No, it's not affirmate, sorry, archetype card. So you find Kalia Purification and then you'd find the relevant symbol card because that one's got the blue affirmation card, that one's got the blue back. And then you would find the symbol card, which is gold, if you so wanted to do so. So I am really, really, really looking forward to working with this deck. As I said, I ordered the accompanying guidebook. Um, Kat's doing some Zoom lessons as well in September, I think, um, about working with the energies of Carly as well. She's an incredible lady. Um, she's not only an artist, um, she's a fantastic voice for women's rights as well. Um, she's very active on social media, totally approachable as well. So if you want to know anything about any form of cat, you know, cat's work, um, you know, her artwork or a decks or a books, shoot her a message. She's always super lovely. Um, I'm going to leave this with you guys today because I'm going to have a play with these cards now. Um, and yeah, thank you for watching. I'll put the links below. Um, this retail, I'm not sure how much it retails for. I think it's about £40. I'm not sure that um, they're selling out super, super quick, though. I know one of the the Goddess Oracles have already sold out, but Kat's going to reprint um, some, towards, some towards the summer, end of the summer. But this, however, is there's no um, reprint, so to speak, after these have gone. Um, so I think there's 49 copies of this like set left as well. So if this, you know, if you want to work closely with the energies of a goddess, um, this is the perfect deck for you to use. Um, you know, it's it's great. I mean, what you get for the money, the crystals and everything, and the, and the little guidebook, it's really really lovely. So thank you for watching, guys. I will be back tomorrow with the Spirit of Cats Oracle, which I've been promising to review all week. Um, but I've been super busy. Um, I'll see you all later tonight. There's some rice in there. I don't know where that's come from. Um, I will see you all later tonight anyway, because I'm doing a talk about mental health with Joe from Beyond the Veil. So that's 6 p.m. UK time. So thanks, guys. Much love to you always. Have a lovely day wherever you are in the world. And I'll see you all soon. Bye, guys.